Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Upstairs Town Crimo. Today is the second one, and it is a double upload. Yes, I am doing two in one day to start off with. And as you saw, Jakob Christiansen has signed for us for two million on a four-year deal. He's 68 overall, and hopefully he can grow to be a lot more. So we are going to sign a new defender as well. Palmer from Sheffield Wednesday for, uh, I think, just under 600,000. And is a good defender with good pace. And, yeah, we let go of Kane Vincent Young as well. And now it is the time to jump into the action as there's four games today and there'll be four games every week. The first game is against MK Dons and boy this will be a tough one as MK Dons are looking to achieve promotion themselves so what can we do against them? Let's get into the match. So just about to see the lineups for MK Dons, they are playing a 5-2-3, as are we. Yes, it is a battle of the 5-3-2, or 5-2-3s. Quite a common formation used in this game. I think a lot of players and teams are using it online and offline as well. And our squad is looking pretty good as well. We are going to be starting Christian Walton in goal with Wes Burns, Luke Wolfton and Dabba Edmondson and Leif Davis at the back line with Kamara and Christensen making his debut in the midfield with Chaplin Ladapo and Marcus Harness starting out up front for us. Uh, Rolton throws it straight out to Chaplin, straight into Ladpo, a good lofted three ball. Ladpo, oh my god, he's actually done it. Nine minutes into the game with his first goal of the English League One season, and he has fired Ipswich Town in front. 1 0, Ipswich Town, MK Dons, 0. What can MK Dons do here? They're on the counter attack, but Edmondson snuffs it out really well. They play a through ball lofted over, and oh my god, they almost score from that, but thank god it was a volley, otherwise that would have gone in. Ladpo wins a corner here from O'Connor and Chaplin across, and look at this, tries to find the near post, but doesn't find it. The keeper makes a good save, and Connor Chaplin's here with a corner kick on the left hand side of the pitch. Dinks it straight in, nice chip, finds Ladpo, and Ladpo finds the net, past the keeper, past the defender on the line. Not sure how he's done it, but Ladpo just standing still, taking in the goal that he's just scored. Not sure how. Let's have a look again. Chaplin plays it in, Ladpo, nice header down, and yeah, the defender just walks away from it. That is quite shocking defending on the post. Definitely do not take notes from him. Ladpo with Ipswich Town second, MK Dons nil. Kamara hands away a free kick, and we're going to keep Christensen on, not going to put Morsey on. Christensen having a good debut so far, MK Dons making another save. What can the Dons do from this free kick? Lays it off short into MK Dons. Oh no, they've had a goal. Okay, that is not what we wanted at all. Ipswich Town are playing it around the back. Wolfton straight into Wes Burns. Burns is going to go for a run. And those are going to play it in to Bowden. The youth star. Youth star plays it into Evans. Evans, oh my god. He finds the left side of the net. And the crowd goes wild as Ipswich Town secure the three points that they needed to start off this season. Making it 3-1. And I don't believe MK Dons are going to have anything to come back with. No, they don't. It finishes Ipswich Town 3, MK Dons 1, Ladpo the double, Evans with the single. Yeah, let's go. Second game of the season against Shrewsbury. This will be a fun one here at the first game at Portman Road. And the lineup will change slightly. Morsey in for Kamara. Shrewsbury on the attack here, playing it around the edge of the Ipswich Town box, but no, win the tackle, well done, and Ladpo runs away with it, finds Chaplin down the wing, no, Chaplin's going to make the inside run, Chaplin's in the box now, can he shoot, can he score, yes he can, puts it near post, well done, is it going to keep 1-0 to Ipswich Town against Shrewsbury on the half time whistle. 
Connor Chaplin with a corner kick for Ipswich Town here. What can we do? A dinks it straight into the box. A clearance from a Shrewsbury. And it's playing around on the edge of the box. Christensen, oh my god. Thumps it in from 30 yards out on the edge of the box from a corner. Keeper caught unawares. His first goal of the season. Number 22, Jakob Christensen. Let's have a look at this again. Plants it from the outside of the edge and distance to goal 25 and a half yards. Plumps it. Top bins. What a goal. Now we have another corner from Shrewsbury instead here. Oh, I think I know what's happened. Harness has accidentally handballed it and Shrewsbury got the penalty and they score. Bring it to a one, which is not good. And Shrewsbury are on the attack again. Can they make it 2 2? They play it into their striker. Back into the midfielder. Oh, that's a lovely through ball, that is. And they just find the near post. And it's 2 all once again. Ladpo on the attack. Back in to Morsey, I think. No, Harness. Yeah, no. Into Ladpo. Into Evans. Evans. Oh, yes. Evans finds the late winner. And it's a 3-2. I can't imagine that they're going to come back from this now. There's only about a few more minutes to go. Plus added on time. So there might be about 10 minutes. They might actually find a way into this. Hopefully not. And Shrewsbury are actually on the attack here. Playing it through the middle. Spreading it wide. Bring it back into the box. And what are they going to do? How the hell have they done that? They've literally just... Whipped it into the box and they've got on the end of it, which, yeah, that's going to mean 3 3. Four points out of two games. Not what we wanted. Going into the first round of the uh, Carabao Cup. Not sure if we want to actually try and win it this season, but obviously, Carabao Cup will have all your Premier League and Championship teams in there. So I think I might try and reduce fixture congestion and I'll just play a lot of players that are squad players instead of the first team and here is the lineup Walton, Burns, Burgess, Edmondson, Ball, Lee, Kamara, Evans, Bowden, John Jules and Kyle Edwards make up the starting 11. Edwards on the ball for Town plays it into John Jules, John Jules plays it back into Edwards, plenty of acres of space to run into and Bowden at the back post, yeah Nips it in. Makes it 1-0. Ipswich Town. Okay. We're going okay so far. It's a very tight angle to have scored from. But, you know, 1-0. Ipswich Town, Warsaw, nil. The Blues are on the attack. And Kamara, can he find Chaplin making the run down the wing? Yes, he can. He sees John Jules in the area of the box. John Jules. Yeah, nope. Can't finish it. Hits the post. And goes out for a goal kick. That was a bit unfortunate. And that was all in the first half. So kicking off Warsaw for the second half of the game. And Warsaw are actually on the attack and have actually been the better side. As it shows, they have just scored to make it 1-1. One -one. Bit unfortunate really. Um, but yet again, I'm not too disheartened. Obviously, I kind of don't really care about the Carabao Cup at this moment though I would like to win it one day but yeah again Walsall as you see playing around the edge of our box and in our box which it doesn't really usually end up well a bit new to the game but so far I've only played about three or four games already of this FIFA 23 so Walsall almost making it uh, 3-1 which wouldn't be great at all, but here they go. They are going to make it 3-1 at, yeah, 3-1. They're going to knock us out of the Carabao Cup of the very first round, which I didn't really want to happen. I did kind of want to progress a little bit further, but not too disheartened. Obviously, you released the fixture congestion isn't too bad. A young lad who we're going to keep an eye on, Alex Cochran uh, from Hearts. 70 overall, left wing back, can play centre back, so we may keep an eye on him in the future but we head in to Cheltenham and the lineup we are going with today a full strength Christian Moulton, Wes Burns, Palmer and Daba, Wolfton, Leif Davis, Kamara, Christensen, Chaplin, Ladapo and Harness as well make it up the 5-2-3 formation. Comfortably keeping the ball in possession Wolfton plays it straight out to Davis 
into Christensen and Kamara finds Ladipo. Ladipo shields off the uh, defender and Chaplin dinks it. No, can't find anyone. It's just pinging around the box and Ladipo gets on the end of it. Nice header, beats the keeper. Very close range though. Would expect the keeper to actually uh, save that. But hey, I don't care. It's just town one, Cheltenham town nil. Get in. It's a good start. Let's go. And right, here we are. Again, more match highlights. Ladpo plays it into Christensen, spreads the play into Davis. Davis carries it a little bit forwards into Harness. Harness plays it back into Kamara. Kamara into Ladpo. Keep in possession now. Ladpo plays it straight in. Kamara has a shot, has a goal, and that is two in 12 minutes. I cannot believe the start we're having now. Haven't it decreased the expectations at all. Haven't decreased the leveling in this game. Cheltenham Town nil. Ipswich Town two. Let's go. Cheltenham Town to kick us off. Ladpo pressurizes the defense. Can he get another shot away? Can he make it three? Yes, he can. Gets the two goals he wants and deserves. He knows he should get. He knows he's a prolific goal scorer. He's going to be a talisman out of this game, out of this team. We are going to need him at the top of his game and the top of his form. Sticks it in the top left bins. Let's go. Hipster Town 3. Cheltenham Town 0. My God. Let's go again. More match highlights to go. And Christensen tries to bend it into the far right corner but the keeper makes a good save out of it let's have a look at this again yep was a bit too central for his own liking but hey ho we've got a corner here in the 19th minute of the game Chaplin whips it in bounces around the edge of the box uh, what can we do here and Dabba takes a long range stab at it and how the hell is he finding the top bins with that does the C the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration the rest of his teammates said if you ever score you have to do the celebration and he's like yes I will and uh, yeah he's done the celebration as much as it is is a meme today but in Dabba let's have a look at this high promotion 22.6 yards out, that is something the keeper should be saving from a centre-back. Ipswich Town 4, Cheltenham Town 0. This is a rump of a game for sure. And yeah, that looks like he's probably handballed it. Now I am going to turn handballs off because I do feel it is a little bit bad about it. You know, Hans was down by his side, but he does still handball it. Penalties, didn't know how to take them, but still, Ladpo gets his hat trick. And yeah, fires Ipswich Town 5 0 in front before the half hour mark. My god, that's crazy. Cheltenham Town are falling apart. I wonder if they'll get relegated this season because. Yeah, if we're sticking five past them, I'm pretty sure a load of other teams will stick plenty more past them as well. And yeah, I'm hoping they might be able to come back. But no, that will do for the half time for the first half. A handful for defenders, yes. That is definitely for sure 100% conversion rate out of three shots. Granted, one of them was a penalty, but hey, you take your goals where you can get them. A hat-trick and surely the match ball for Ladpo. And here we are in the second half, making a few substitutions along the way. John Jules and Morsey in for Christensen and Ladpo. And John Jules on the ball, goes near post, but still cannot find his first goal for his blue team in Ipswich Town. Right, Cheltenham. A really one in a million highlights from Cheltenham actually on the attack. Ipswich Town have dominated them from start to finish. But Cheltenham getting a long range shot away. 20 yard shot. Christian Morton forced to make the save but misses. So yeah, all good. Still 5-0. Chaplin still making the run down the side. Can he find Harness? Yes, he can, but straight at the keeper. 
and simple save or oh, bounces back into the penalty box Kamara tries to have a dig and doesn't get it out of his feet and just straight into the defender's feet and a dabber with a good intercept otherwise that may have been a 5-1 right shot in town on the right hand side of the pitch pinging it about forcing it down the middle side plays a good through ball what can they do can they find anything keeps it in the middle anything can find here plays into the center and that was a very good low driven shot and walton making another good save keeping us level and that is going to be all five nil within half an hour and we cannot find any more during that game my god that was an absolute rout from Ipswich Town Fred Lapo picks up the match ball my god what a player especially against Cheltenham Cheltenham I don't think are a great side and this shows it for sure Ipswich Town 5 Cheltenham Town 0 that'll do for this second episode of the Ipswich Town career mode and as you can see we are in fourth place seven points 11 goals forward that Cheltenham route definitely propelled us to a great goals forward but goals difference and the goals against goals against only four I'm very happy about that I do want to try and keep a good defense I see Derby County Sheffield Wednesday Plymouth are above us really good sides so let's hope we can keep them at Bay, as I would love to gain more points on them for sure and in the next episode we'll have Lincoln Wickham Derby that'll be a very tough one and Newport County I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Ipswich Town Road to Glory career mode with me the Royal Phantom and I'll see you in the next one bye bye